I recorded this video a little while ago, but I wanted to go ahead and get it out because I told you that I would show you what I spent my personal money on last year. So hope you like it. Here it goes. Hey, welcome back to Journey to Peace with me. So, oh, let me fix that. So, um, I know you all remember all of my videos where I've told you that I have these sinking funds, right? These Dave Ramsey sinking funds where I save for categories that I know are coming up. And in a part of um, my sinking fund, I have a personal account and it was something that I was saving for. I was saving for a bag. Well, I finally got enough money for it and I bought it. so excited um i know this is a modification of dave ramsey's plan so if you follow him strictly this ain't it right i told you i modify it um because i think i should be able to still enjoy some luxuries in life even though i'm um on this journey right so i'm in baby step two um i have two debts left in baby step two and I've just now started to set aside some money for me to do some fun stuff with. So this is one of the fun things that I wanted to do with my personal money. I wanted to buy a bag and it just arrived. <laughs> I'm so excited, so excited. Um, so this is gonna be kind of like an unboxing. I've watched it before, never done one before, um, but I'll show you the bag that I wanted, right? Super, super excited. So let me tell you, um, y'all know I'm cheap. Um, and by that, I mean, like, I just don't like to pay full price for anything if I can I can help it. I told you before that I have bought things. Um, I bought the Louis Vuitton wallet and I bought it pre-loved because I have a problem with that. It saved me money. Um, so I had been wanting this bag and again, I had no problem buying it pre-loved because it saved me money. So brand new, this bag is $1,020. She didn't pay that. Mm -mm, no. Um, so I saved money. I, I saved my money in when I had enough money for the bag that I wanted because I had been um, scouring this, this site to see what the going rate was for a pre-loved version of the bag. I saved enough for that um, and then I finally reached it and so I just started looking out for posts about it because it's a Facebook group. So I just started watching for posts um, for this particular bag in the price range that I had, right? So I wasn't willing to go over the amount um, that I had saved up. So I just found a bag within that price range and it worked out. So I I didn't pay anywhere near a thousand dollars. Anywhere near a thousand dollars for this bag. This bag um I saved up for and it was four hundred dollars. So yeah, it's still a lot. Like it could have gone for my student loan, which is one of the two debts that is that's left, but why? I need some fun in life, right? So, I got a Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. Um, I had been deciding whether I wanted the 30 or 35. Um, I was told I should probably get the 30 because the 35 was kind of big. Now that I'm looking at it, I kind of think I should have gone with the 35. This seems a bit small. Like, I carry my life in my purse. So, I'll test it out and I'll see, um, I'll see how it goes. And if I don't like it, then I'll just, I'll sell it and I'll get a 35. But right now, you know, I have it. So this is the bag that I've wanted. I've wanted it for a long time. Um, this is me with the with the bag. So this is the size. This is the size 30. Well, I guess it's not terrible, right? Because, you know, it doesn't look so bad um, in the frame on me. It's a decent, 
decent size. Um, but this is it. So how did I save for it? How, how did I get this bag? How did I save um, enough to buy this? Well, so my sinking fund. Um, every pay period, I put a certain amount of money into this um, into this personal account. So after I paid all of my bills, um, I you know I live by the zero base balance. Um, budget so after I, all my bills have come out you know my mortgage my lights all of my necessities i have money left over and so i divide that up so now i am saving for different categories and so every pay period i would put 53 dollars into this savings account and so yes it may take you a little bit longer than someone who is using credit or someone who has um a higher income than you to be able to purchase things that you want but if you save for them you'll get them eventually and the beauty in saving is that sometimes you end up spending less than someone who went ahead and got it um up front why well i this bag was four hundred dollars i saved six hundred dollars just by one buying it pre-loved and two, saving my money until I had enough to pay for it in cash so I'm not spending extra money on interest. Um, I'm not, you know, doing monthly payments on uh, on this bag. I didn't put it on a credit card. And I knew my budget. So I went in and I searched for a bag within the budget. Now, the good thing about buying this bag pre-loved is that I don't like the bag when it's brand new right i don't like that um very light very very light patina color um but this bag is already patinaed and it's the color that i like it's the honey um it's a honey patina it looks worn but it's still in very very good condition this is an older bag so the canvas is um a bit thicker so they say than the newer bags um but so that is one of the pluses of getting a pre-loved bag it's already in the color that i like additionally um I don't feel so bad about the purchase it's a very nice bag um but I, it didn't cost me a whole lot um it cost me a few more dollars than a michael kors bag um a brand new michael kors bag will probably run you about three hundred dollars so yeah i spent a hundred dollars more i got a louis vuitton it's something that i wanted for a very long time i saved for it i use cash so i have no guilt associated with this purchase why because i bought it in cash and i saved for it um again i saved 53 dollars every pay period so that's 106 dollars that i saved um during a month to to get the bag and so um it took me about four months five months um to save the money and then to find the bag um so yes i will start saving for another bag now um but the bag that i do want now even pre-loved is going to cost me a little bit so you won't see one of these videos in a while because it's, I, I'm going to need some time to save up for it. But you won't see this video before I have the cash to buy it. Um, and again, if you see this video again, I won't have any regrets or um, any guilt associated with purchasing um, another Louis Vuitton bag. Why? Because I paid cash for it. Um, and so even though the $400 could go toward my student loan debt, I'm, I'm not even worried about it because I've done my debt snowball. Um, I realize that it will probably take me about 10 years per the uh, spreadsheet to pay off all of um, my debts. That includes both of um, my homes, my town home, which is a rental property, and the home that we live in. It'll take us about 10 years to get there. That's not accounting for raises in the interim. It's not accounting for um, us going to baby step um, four and five, which is retirement and um, and uh, college tuition. This is just strictly if I went from uh, baby step two right into rolling through the the houses um and so the increases over the years will go towards retirement and our children and um and saving for um our uh, emergency fund but this is how i saved for 
my Louis Vuitton bag. Um, you can do it too. Just save a little and then you'll get it. You know, just put aside a little bit of money every pay period and you'll have enough eventually to get you that bag, okay? Um, let me know down below how you're doing with saving, um, if this is something that you think you can do and if you've learned something. So do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, journey on.